lesson 8.4. Today in sixth grade, students worked with me and summarized and compared the data. Let's look at example number one. In Miss Beach's art class, the mean of four quizzes and a final test score determined the quarterly grade. During the first quarter, Amy's scores were 95, 99, 86, and 94. What is the sum of Amy's scores? So the very first thing we need to do is we need to think about the word sum, which students will know is to add. So we need to take all of her scores and add them together. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite those over here. I've got 95, 99, 86, and 94. Now when I add these together, I just look, look for groups of 10 that makes it easier for me to add. So I see 6 and 4 is an easy group of 10. I know 9 and 5 is 14. So when I add 14 and 10, I get 24. And I'm going to go and carry my 2. I also like to look for repeated numbers that are easy for me to multiply. I've got 9, 9, 9, which is 27. And then I've got 2 and 8, which is an easy group of 10. When I add those numbers together, I get 37. So my answer is 374 is what her, some of her scores are so far. Moving on to the second part of our question, it says, what must the sum of Amy's five scores be so her average will be 90 or more on all four quizzes in the test? So what we're looking for is we want her score to be 90 or more on the five total scores that she needs during her quarter, which are her four quizzes and her grade, and, excuse me, and her final test. So when I think about this, I need to think that Amy's needs to have a 90 on all five of those tests. So that's like saying 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90, or 90 times 5. Now when I look at this, I see a really quick multiplication fact that I already know. I know 9 times 5 is 45, add a 0 for 450. So what is the sum of all the scores that Amy needs? Well, Amy needs 450 to be her sum for the 90 or more on all four quizzes and her test. Now the final part of this question says, what is the minimum score Amy must earn on her final test to have an average of 90 for the quarter? So Amy wants to figure out what she has to get on her final test to make sure that she gets a 90 on for her final grade. So I'm going to use the information I've already had from these other two problems. I know that she needs a total of 450 points to get that 90 or above. And this is how many points she already has, which is 374. So to find how many points she still needs, I'm going to do a subtraction problem. I'm going to take the 450, and I'm going to subtract my 374. When I subtract these, I know I'm going to need to do some borrowing. I've got 10 minus 4 is 6. 4 minus 7 I can't do, but I know 14 minus 7 is 7. So I know for her final score, to get her the score of a 90, she needs to have 76 points on that last part of the quarter. If you have any questions about today's lesson, make sure you see your math teacher.